Challenge Chat Crew, it is your girl Diane Puro Guanajuato's vlogs. Welcome to my channel. As always, let's go ahead and start off by welcoming all the new subscribers to the Concha Crew. Welcome, we are a Puro Good Vibes, all about good vibes, do you know? Tot, tot, tot with all the badness, all that stuff out there. Here in the Concha Crew, we are good vibes. So if you have not yet, do me right now. Do me a favor, go to the right, hit that bell so you're notified every time that I post and every time that I go live. And then welcome to the Concha Crew. All right, my friends. Well, as you guys can see, I am in my car. I am here in Tucson, Arizona. I am at San Javier Mission, which is a beautiful wow it is a beautiful cathedral my friends if you ever get the opportunity to come out here to tucson i highly suggest that this be a destination spot for you but but i finally my guanchat crew finally had cash on me because uh when you come out here um you know obviously they have vendors that sell outside of the church and they sell some authentic popovers some fry bread some authentic popovers fry breads i mean let me say they have a couple of vendors out here so shout out to them it's hot right now it's 106 degrees i mean i have to literally take everything of me to get out here but i said i'm gonna do it because i'm craving some delicious authentic this is what everyone's told me that this is the most authentic that we're gonna get. The experience itself was so welcoming. Um, you know, definitely they have a selection of vendors. You can come out, it's inexpensive. We're gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and go over what it is that I got here. I got here, this is their popover right here, and I got the Christmas style. So this right here has half red chili and half green chili. I am so excited. Look at that right there. Oh my goodness, look at this fluffiness already. Oh, I can't wait to try it, my friends. And also, I also, I also, I had to do this. I had to. Look at this right here. This is their uh, popover. This has honey, sugar, powdered sugar. Oh, look at that. And some sprinkle of cinnamon. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, here, take a bite. There you go. Give it back. But as always, let's go ahead and let's start off by... If you guys can join me with my prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of this meal. May you bless those that are watching. Uh, provide those out there with a warm meal, Heavenly Father. Please protect them in this heat. And, and anywhere they're at, please provide protection to them, dear Lord. And again, may this be nutrition to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's get in. Oh, I don't even know where to start. I got to give me over here this fork, some napkins. Um, and to drink, it's so hot. I got me, look, this is a big old polar pop of water. Of course, I got two because, you know what I'm saying, I'm just like, put it in, put some ice, put some water, let's go. Let's get it. Okay. Mm, I want I want to try this. I'm so excited. I've been trying to try this spot for a while. I've been on, on live a, cu a couple times. And everybody mentions, you know, that are from Tucson, you have to try the actual vendors here. Oh, my mouth is watering. If you could smell this. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that. Oh. Oh, my goodness. This is the red chili. Let's go. Let's get it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mmm. Has something so good just made you so happy oh yeah this it has a kick one to ten the red chili i'm gonna give it about an eight it does have a, a kick if you don't like spice the red chili is not gonna be for you as you can see i'm already trying to bring down the up a little bit but the fried bread look at this oh wow and they're making it fresh my friends as you order they will make that fresh Oh, here we go. Let's put some more of this red chili. Let's give you guys another bite right there. Okay, now give it back. Oh, mm -mm. that is bomb. Oh, yeah. Wow. If you've been here, comment below. My mouth, my mouth is on fire because of the heat. It is spicy. But I'm going to say, 
1 to 10, the red chili already is a 20. 1 to 10. But now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to work to the green. I do notice the green is actually, let me see. Oh, one of my favorites. I'm always a team green. Are you team green or red? Look at this. Look at these big chunks. Look at that right there. Oh, look at that chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Mm. Oh, wow. That is bomb. Mm. The, let me, I will say, the card name, it's so juicy, so soft. The minute you bite it, it just separates. That is good. If you don't like spice, I feel like the, the I feel like the um, green chili is gonna be for you. If you don't like spice, the green chili will be the, the one for you. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. I paid for this and for the the other popcorn. I only paid thirteen dollars. And these are families that are out here with the stands. These are actually families that live here in the reservation. Mm. So, and this is in Tucson, but this is more um a, a little bit outside of Tucson. I'm so happy because you guys don't understand. I've been trying to try this place for a hot minute. And it sucks, you know, when, you know, obviously you come and the couple times I came, I didn't have cash. And I'm like, okay, damn. I woke up today and I'm like, I want, I want a good, I want a good, good popover. That's what I want. And people are going to ask, what's the difference between a popover and a fry bread? They are the same thing, except, you know, those, you, you, those call it differently. Mmm. It's so, the fry bread, the edges have that crisp, but they're so flaky. Like it gives me like the flakiness of like a croissant, buttery, mmm, and it's just so good. Oh yeah, this is this right here. I will say out of like, and I've been to a couple places, you know, um, out in Phoenix, you know, and and I've been to like two other places. This right here, hands down, hands down, is the best, the best popover that I've had with that red chili and the green chili. Korean. I love that. If you come down here, you know, you can also grab you something to eat. Of course, they don't have they don't have a seating area, right? So legit, these families come out here with their, probably, you know, their and, you know, their, who knows, years and years of recipes, you know, that have been passed down and they sell the fry bread. But you can also go into the beautiful beautiful cathedral San Javier Mission so I wanted to go in there but obviously going into a cathedral um you know I how do I say this I walked up and then I noticed that they had you know shut it it's it's closed at the moment so I wanted to go in but it's closed so you know you can actually go in for those that are not from here and you can tour you know walk in there's no charge you can walk in this beautiful cathedral. I've been in it before. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I definitely will, will do that another time, you know, because obviously I have some other stuff that I have to do today, but oh, look at that red chili right here. Look at that. This is my favorite part right there. The part that's just like where the, all the juice just like, oh, it's just all up in here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is delicious. Delicious. We don't get this out in the city. I'll tell you that. We do not get this out in the city. And the reason why I'm eating it like this with a fork and doing it is because this is my, the way I like to eat it. Everyone has their own way because some people are going to say, well, you're supposed to pick it up and bite it. Whatever. This is the way I like to eat it. You know, everyone likes to eat their own way. Mmm. They have tamales, but they sell out. I was going to get some tamales, and they're only $2 for one. They have 
green and red. She's like, we sold out. They also have this where they add beans. They sold out of beans because the beans are very popular. Um, but yeah, they have quite, you know, they have like, I, I seen that they have like snow cones that they make on the side. Um, there's these one things that are known to Tucson where, um, me and Ariel have got it. We've, we've went live and we've had them. It's like a bunch of fruit and it's basically has like pickles, like pickles and fruit and chili. And it's real big out here. I don't know the exact name of it in Tucson. So it's fruit. It has like oranges, apples, it has salalitos. Um, salalitos are dry, dry, uh, pr uh, plums or no prunes, plums. I don't know, but they're, <laughs> they're those things that are, you know, the salalitos. I, I just know how to say them in Spanish, but yeah, they have those and it's like a mix and they add some lemon in there and like pickle juice and it has chili. It's so delicious. They have those here. Mm. I love when the juice, it's just like a ready marinade into the fry bread. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Have you guys ever made homemade fried bread? I've always wanted to. But that is the one thing that I say that. It's just like, it's not for me. I remember one time I tried to make it. And I don't know if I didn't do it right. Of the flour, I have no clue. It was just, it was a hot mess. It didn't even fluff up. It was hard. It like was really hard. I'm like... I'm not trying to make a tostada. I want a fry bread. And don't ask me why I have two cups. I don't know. I just had water with ice. And it happened to be, I put it in the car and this one was empty. You already know how it goes, my friends. I hope everybody's in good spirits, though. You know, I really truly appreciate everybody that's been showing me love. I legit love, you know, coming on and sharing my life with you guys. You guys are so supportive. Mm, look at that look at that let me do this real quick so you can see that look at that red chili mm, I will say this red chili even though it has a kick it has a spice my friends that don't mean nothing this red chili is like that type of you know where, where it has a spice but it's so good and you just keep on eating it and you know your eyes are gonna get watery and you know your nose gets watery but it's so good like kind of like hot cheetos hot cheetos you know for some are very spicy but they're so good that you keep eating it like oh i can't tell you enough and they're not like like you know when they put the the green chili and the red chili they're not skimpy that little thing was loaded that's what i look for i've been to a place where at the fair you know i don't like to buy no, no type of popovers at the fair you know because they sell them there at every fair because they load it with lettuce and tomato. And then when you start to move that and the cheese, like shredded cheese, when you start to move it, underneath there's only about this much scattered, you know, what you chose, ground beef or, or the red chili or green chili. That's how much of a scoop they give you. Just like that, just kind of scattered. This thing, when you open it, it is loaded. That's what I'm talking about, supporting small businesses. They will treat you like royalty. They appreciate it. They they value every dollar. I am forever in support of, you know, supporting small businesses. But yeah, I, I don't, when I go to the fair, I don't like to get them there because I feel like it's, I'm just being, it's just a ripoff. Period. Mmm. Look at that. I love the fact that, look at this, hear it. See how crispy it is on the edges? That is so good. But yeah, if you don't like, if you don't like spice, I'm gonna re recommend that the green one, this one is the one you want. Are you team spice or no? Mm. I have to give it to them. They are out here, and like I said, it is a hundred. Right now, I'm looking at my right here at my my screen. It's a hundred and six degrees, and they're out here making these fresh popovers with all that oil. You know, it's hot oil. You know, just you know. And then if you guys notice, 
what they're underneath is like a, it's it's a you know it's like a man-made it seems like it's like tree you know like the tree um like the tree branches in a way you know and it's like the well sticks like tree you know but sticks made a tree i don't know if i make sense and that's all they have like there's no like tarp covering i'm like i have to give it to them to be out here you know shout out to all you know the vendors all the um you know those that go and sell elote you know it, it really it really shows you the hard work and dedication that they have for me i'd rather buy an elote which elote in english is the corn in the cup and it comes with mayo and chili and, and lime or you can get it on a stick the corn um and you know they put the mayonnaise and the chili and the lime it's elote and i rather buy from an actual street vendor then go into an establishment and they make it inside. Why? Because think about it. Those that are out here right now, you know, whether it's these vendors and the ones out in the street selling, you know, elotes and ice creams, um, you name it, you know, ice cream trucks, they're out in the heat. That is, that is, if not, that doesn't tell you enough. That is, wow, a lot, takes a lot, it drains. I can only imagine them being hot. So every time, you know, like I said, when I want like elote, I go out and I, I find a street vendor, um, you know, for example, here, I could have went and went to like an establishment and got, you know, a popover because they have them on the menus on some places here in Tucson and in Phoenix. You know, some establishments will have these on there, but there's nothing more than supporting a small business, nothing more than getting more authentic. If you guys can't see when I, when I seen her making that she was legit making that with passion and love and that's what it's all about my friends that's why i'm like you know what that's where i'm gonna go and that's where i'm gonna take my money to period it's just you know for me those other big chains they don't give a they don't give a damn mm, look at that that's gonna be a big bite right here for everyone mm. Mm, mm, mm. okay all right let me go ahead let me put this to the side and let's move on to the dessert who's ready for the dessert look at this right here Woo! look at that big do you guys see that mountain over here i am surrounded by mountains i love to be outside i love the scenery i love arizona i love the cactuses the jumping cactuses i know we run alive and they are jumping cactuses uh, why? Because if you get too close to them, they will legit jump on you. So I love to just see, you know, mo there's so many different cactuses, so many different type of, of, you know, things that being away from the city, when I've come into Tucson, I've witnessed. Like I've seen so many different type of flowers, cactuses. I've seen javelinas. I've seen um, coyotes. I've seen so much different centipedes, um, tarantulas, you know just in general like things that i go in the city i go to the zoo to see this is where it's at in tucson they have it all around you so yeah but let's go ahead here i'm gonna let you guys get the first bite go ahead get that bite okay give it back let's do it let's oh look at that do you hear that i don't know if you guys can because i have my thing on oh let me see Oh, my so soft. Look at. Oh. Wow. That is so good. It is so flaky, crispy to perfection. Light, light crispiness. But it melts. Look at that. Oh. It legit. Wow, this is so good. Wow, I'm, I'm blown. Oh, that's so good. I'm actually about to go back and buy five more. This right here was only $4. Look at how huge it is. It legit goes over the plate. Wow and wow. I knew I was gonna make a mess. That's why I say, you know what? I always say, if it doesn't land on your, on your face, it doesn't belong in your plate. Oh, let's just do this real quick. Look at, let's just do this. Mm. You heard that? You heard that? 
That's heaven. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get Ariel one. Oh, this honey, I wanna say it's homemade honey. Oh, it is so good. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm legit in heaven. I, I'm gonna say this again. If you have the opportunity to come out to Tucson or you live in Tucson, come show them some love. Come show them some love, you guys. Oh, it is so delicious. I'm, I'm like, my mind is blown. I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna take another one, I know. Here, let's do, we're gonna do the edge. Look at this right here. Here's the edge. And it has light, light honey with, with the powdered sugar. Mmm. Mmm, look at that, it's melting. I'm melting. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. This is so good. People were right when they were like, girl, you need to go out to San Javier Mission and try the vendors. That is the best, the best popovers you'll ever have. And I'm going to agree right now. I'm going to say it. These are the best that I've ever had in my life. So delicious. Oh, just let me tell you, usually when I've gotten these before, as I'm eating my other, you know, by the time I get to this one, it's already rock hard. This right here is so, so soft. Oh, it's just like literally just tears apart. You guys, I'm going to say this. Try. If you're in, in your town, look it up. Try some fry bread, also known popovers. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close out this vlog here because I'm going to enjoy the rest of my food. Thank you so much for the love and support, my Quantra crew. We are very close to 17K. 17K. Share me with your family and your friends right now. If you watch this entire video, please right now, in, in the comments, please put a red heart. In the comments right now, please put a red heart, my friends. And remember, you guys, please stay safe out there. Remember, if, if it's you're having a bad day, it's only, it's it's okay to be, it's okay to be not okay, but it's only one bad day. That's it. That's all you're going to give it is one bad day, my friends. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.